Hallelujah. We greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. And I just want to speak to you a little bit. I think everybody is doing fine. And I just want to say something about salvation and Jesus our Lord, the Savior of the world, who saved my life and who can still save yours too. I am so grateful to God because He just saved my life. I'm alive by His grace and His love. I did not supposed to be alive because of all the situations that I had been going through. But right now, I'm trying to tell you the testimony, the reason why I'm still alive. And the biggest thing that God has done in my life. Today, I will be talking about how we are safe into salvation. And I'm trying to show you this. Salvation is good. And salvation is not all about going to church, joining the service, maybe online or in person. But salvation is all about changing your actions, changing your behavior, change from the wicked way, change your reaction from the way that I used to live before and your life right now. My dear, salvation is good and God is good. Salvation is not all about going to church. Salvation is all about changing your behavior. The way that you used to live before. The Bible says, If my people who are called by my name repent and turn from their wicked way, I will listen to their prayer and I will come and heal their country or their land. I'm trying to say this. God who saved my life I've been going through a lot of situations, but uh, my parents, my family wasn't able to help me. But uh, God himself, he just sent these people and they came and they prayed for me and they rescued my life. Maybe you are a slave of sin and you, you just don't understand yourself. You sin even though you don't like to sin, but you're still just sinning. I'm trying to tell you this, God he came in the world just to make you to stop sinning, to make you to stop going against his rules. I know we sin all over the world, and we think like, that is the fashion. That is the way that we, we deserve. But I'm trying to tell you this, hell is real and heaven is real. And everybody gonna be paid according to his actions. There is no another chance. There is no another place. The only place that we have is just we have to change our behavior. That's it. There is no another behavior that uh, you're going to just have to die without knowing Jesus. And then you think that uh, you're going to have to make heaven. In heaven, we just go people who we really mean to change our actions. We really need to change from, from our wicked way. I think some people, they'll be saying like, God loves everybody. It's true, God loves everybody. But uh, God loves somebody who will change their, from, from their wicked way. God loves the person who is able to change his reactions. And let me say something about this season that we are going through. I know your people might think like summertime means to dress half naked. But I'm trying to tell you this. Summertime does not mean that you have to dress half naked. If you dress half naked, that means you are proclaiming the work of Satan or evil. You are trying to make other people, you are trying to attract other people to those sins. Summertime does not mean that you have to dress half naked. You just have to dress and respect yourself according to your clothes. Because dressing half naked does not mean that you will not to get hurt. But you have to dress all your clothes better. Dress well and be, be respectful to others. If you dress half naked, believe or not believe, you are a sinner and you are going to have fire. I'm trying to say this. God loves people who is able to change. There are some people that they keep drinking alcohol, they keep doing any kind of sin that they want to sin. But uh, I'm trying to tell you this, God wants us to repent all our sins. God wants us to change from our wicked way. God wants us to, to really, really mean what we be doing. 
Hallelujah. So I want everybody to listen to me. God wants us to change. God wants us to, to live from our sins. Because it's sin. No matter how much you're going to hide your sin. No matter how many times you're going to keep hiding your sin. At the end of the time, that sin is going to kill you. At the end of the time, that sin is going to have to kill you. Do not hide your sin. Do not, never, ever. If you are a sinner, make sure you repent it. But if you hide all your sin, one day those sin is going to kill you. And then you're going to find yourself that you are going to hell. Hallelujah. So, on those people who are here, I'm trying to say like, do not allow yourself to die without believing in Jesus. Do not allow yourself to die without believing in Jesus. I know that you might think like I'm joking, but never ever allow yourself to die without believing in Jesus. Because if you just did that, believe or not believe, you are going to hell. And then you're going to be suffering in all your life. Hell is real. Heaven is real. And then everybody going to be paid according to the actions. No matter what you're doing right now, remember, you want to get payment according to your actions. So make sure that you behave good. Make sure that you act like somebody who was created by the image of God. What I know is that everybody was created by the image of God. And that's why everybody has to act just like God wants us to act. I'm trying to tell you this. Do not just live like somebody who are just living. I've heard some people, they say, there is no God, there is no hell. If we die, we die. But uh, the truth is this. There is hell, there is God. There is judgment after the death. At the end of the time, you want to be judged according to your actions. If somebody drove without the driver's license, and if you get caught by the police, you're going to be pulled over at the same stuff to guard it too. If you just leave and you have to any how you want, one day you're going to be judged according by your actions. So it is good to repent right now. It is good to change from our wicked way. God loves us to change. God does not want to kill somebody who is a sinner. Because there is hell. There is fire, my dear. There is hell. So I, I just want to tell you this. I was supposed to die like back in 2017. I had a drink poison. And I have had a lot of accidents. But God didn't tell me to die by that time. Because he knows that I, I'll be preaching by this time. Everybody, you have to change from your wicked way. God wants you to change. God, God does not want you to die just the way you are. I know that we sin all over. I, I used to be a sinner too. But I, after that, I knew that God is able. So I have to change from my wicked way. I change all my behavior. I change. I used to sleep with a lot of God all the time. I used to sleep with a lot of God. But right now, I'm not born in Christ. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Do not allow yourself to die while you're still a sinner. Do not allow yourself to die without knowing Jesus. You really have to change, my dear. I'm trying to tell you, hell is real and heaven is real. Hell is real and heaven is real. So thank you so much for listening to me. And I just want to go to bless everybody. Let us pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we, we thank you for this time. We thank you for this great opportunity. Because it was very wonderful, even though those five, ten minutes that we have spoken over here. I believe that you need all your people to repent. Please God help us to repent and turn from all our wicked way. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.